Dave Clark Five has just returned from the West Indies, where they uh, went for a brief vacation. They will be leaving very soon for England, and we were quite fortunate to get them together for a spontaneous interview. Now, Dave, there are hundreds of questions your fans would like answered. I will ask you the most frequently asked. Most of your fans are interested in knowing your social habits. Can you tell us if you prefer dating girls who are not in show business? Yes. Well, personally, myself, if I date a girl, she's not in the business. Because um, I feel that when you date a girl, you want to be completely away from it. You play during the day, it's your job, it's your living. And when you date a girl, you want to be completely away, and it's a completely different life altogether. Mm -hmm. Dennis, do you own, do any of you own cars? And if so, what kind? Yes, um, I own a Ford Anglia, and mm -hmm. Dave owns an automatic Zodiac. I see. None of the others? Push by. Fast <laughs> 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 gates. <laughs> Mike, tell us what you think of American rock and roll. Um, American rock and roll now, or what it was, you know. Well, let's say what it is before, now. Before, it was very wild, and that's where I like it. A lot of the records coming out now, a lot of the your, your unknown ones, which, you know, don't seem to get heard a lot, are very good, which we get in England, and really rave, you know. But majority of the rock and roll coming out of America is very good. Dennis, we understand here that there's a trend in England towards sending the royalty towards what we call public schools. There is a tendency for that in England, yes. Is it recent? No, it's yeah. dated back through the ages, you know. Well, now, remember, public schools in the United States are different than the public schools in Yes, it's in reversed, England. I believe. Right, right. Mm. But there is a tendency now that There way. is a tendency. Rick, mm -hmm. we've heard the word gear used oh, yes. here. Can you describe its meaning to us? Well, we don't use it ourselves. The Beatles and the Liverpudlians use it. They mean uh, it's good. But, yeah, no, but yeah, we use it as clothes. You know, we call it gear. I see. You know, good gear or mod gear or bad gear. How about the word? <laughs> how about the word fab or fab most? We've seen that asked of you very frequently in your letters too, and we don't know quite what it means. Yeah, well, fab is fabulous. Again, we don't really use it that much as some do. Mm -hmm. that one. But <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Could you tell us if any of you write the music or the words to your songs? Well, most of the songs Dave and I have written, you know, and I studied music for a long time, and I do most of the music, and Dave does most of the lyrics, but on our latest album, uh, the boys have done some numbers as well, you know. I see. Your background in music is classical, or...? Yeah, I, I studied classics for quite a while, but... Uh, I, must prefer, I like the old rock and roll, you know. <laughs> One of the questions that's been asked frequently, Dave, is do you know the Beatles personally? Yes. And you do. And how do yeah. you feel about having taken away the number one spot with Glad all over? Oh, what, from the Beatles? <coughs> yes, yeah, um, right. Well, we, th we all think the Beatles have got a great sound. They're very popular in England. And we know them personally, but um, it's obvious they can't stay at number one for ever and ever. I mean, they sold a million on their last record. And if it hadn't have been us that had taken over from the number one, it would have been somebody else. Yeah. Well, there are hundreds of other questions for which we really have no time right now. Let me express the appreciation of your many friends for coming by this evening and spending some time with us. It's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.